welcome back to my channel baby dolls as always you know i'm super duper excited you guys decided to watch one of my videos we are in my bathroom again as you can see because unfortunately i am the most laziest person ever and i do not clean my room and my room looks like a hot mess again so if you see the wobble you see the jiggle sorry it's because i'm holding it by my hand and i have a little tripod which i think i should actually invest in but anyway today's video is on this really colorful look um I've just been really trying to play with colors a lot more. You guys are going to see pictures. You know, I'm moving my head a lot. I'm going to see a little, you know, a little preview where I, I try to look all cute and mm, for y'all. But, you know, everything is affordable because it's drugstore related or it's beauty supply store related. Um, I do not spend any money or we don't do big bucks on this channel. Um, not because I can't get it, because I can, but because I can make um, affordable products look well and work well um and that's what i really aim to teach you guys or like show you guys not necessarily teach you because again you know i'm not i'm not a makeup artist i'm just a makeup enthusiast so i'm probably maybe not doing things exactly the right way but i like to show you guys my way you guys ask i guys I, I show you guys so um this is a really quick intro because i don't really have anything else to say you guys can see my hair i freshly twisted it um again for you guys who are just tuning in i am on my lock journey this is going to be the start of week three um starting on this monday will be week three that i've had it i've uh only twisted it one time since then um have not washed it anybody who knows you know I'm, you know we're starting it you can't wash it for a while so um but yeah this is where i am i'm really actually liking it i'm feeling like I don't know like I feel like I'm I'm really probably gonna really really enjoy it I'm I like the size that I picked to do everything so shout out to Asia my little sis you know I'm gonna tag her below check out her channel she's a vlogger um for doing my twist to set it up and we're just gonna watch that transition happen hopefully guys you guys stay with me through the whole ride so um, as always, I hope you guys are liking, thumbs upping, uh, that's the same thing, isn't that? Sorry. Commenting, subscribing, and hitting the bell so you get the notifications. I'm gonna drop down my, uh, social media so that way you can follow my modeling page and you can also follow my beauty, uh, fashion, lifestyle page. And, um, what do I say all the time? What do I tell you? I came to serve you, sis. And you know this, so... The video. Welcome back to my channel, guys. As always, you know, I'm super duper excited you guys decided to watch one of my videos. So, we're gonna start off like we always do, which is blending out the concealer that we put under our eye. Whether it be a new set of concealer, you can put fresh concealer on, but sometimes with certain looks, I don't like to have such a tacky base. So, I'm using leftover concealer, I'm blending that down, and we're gonna go in with our uh, Pinky Rose Dusty Rose Rustic Rose palette. Sorry, and we're gonna take take that bright yellow you see we're gonna put that right under our brow bone this is a full eye look today where our colors are going all the way up to our brow bone so we're working with I think about four or five colors which seems a little daunting but it's really not watch the video you'll see now moving into our magic collection we're gonna take this nice little raspberry sherbet color and we're putting this right on the outer corner of our eye blending that very lightly into the yellow we don't want to lose any colors this is a cheapo, have a no idea where I got it from, way back four years ago, beginning learners palette. But because, you know, we bowl on a budget, we keep everything, we make things work. So we're taking this really nice mint navy green to fill in the last space before we cut our crease. What I like to do and what I'm going to continue to do is leave the part where I cut my crease fully open. I'm not going to edit it out. I will speed it up as you're seeing, but I'm going to leave the full process of it because a lot of people are telling me that's the hardest part for them. And it's really about just having a straight and steady hand. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time and I'm really just carving out, shaping out. And I'm using small little strokes. Take your time. This is an art. What you're going to put on your face, you have to wear for the rest of the day. You also have to be very proud of. So take your time to do that. Giving your word is a lost star. A lot of them do it with typo. How do you stomach the madness? Or you work it out or do lipo? Go for the Billy like Tabo. Y'all did not Billy like Michael. They throwing shade at the light show. Might lose my light, but my light glow. Eyes low, but I see shit. Into existence, we speak shit. What? They don't have arms, just reaching. What? They don't call shots in the season. What? What? Hit the plug for the juice. Now, once we have our base set out and it's completely blended and set, we're going back into the Rustic Rose palette, going in with this really bright and like 
it's like a really bright and vibrant coral color but this is going to be our lip color so we're just taking that and patting that across all of the area that we put our cut crease um the cut crease also allows again like i told you it's a great base for you to have your colors pop even more so to finish off the look, we're going to be going in with our Femme um, Advice palette from a clean, clean color. I'll make sure that the Instagram deets have the exact palette uh, because they are all named the exact same. So don't get confused. And we're just going to be putting that again on the outer corner of our eye, just right under where we have that little bit of space left. And then we're taking our Master Conceal Concealer in the color Moyen and we're just cleaning that up, making it nice and sharp so that we can go ahead and add a little bit of uh, that same dark purple afterwards to give us that round full look now lashes not gonna lie to y'all i have no idea what brand this is i have no idea what style this is i don't even have a single inkling of a clue i couldn't even let you know so i'm sorry about that but um this is me applying them and uh, I'm going to be leaving this as a full clip as well because people have been asking how to apply lashes. This is the best way I can show you how. It's as up close and personal as possible. And it's very simple. Just, just watch the clip. Boom, bam, right? So now we're on the face. We done got the eye. The eye was very easy. You know, I try not to explain too, too much because you can see the video. I try to give you a little bit of commentary, a little bit of extra information in the background as you're watching it. So, you know, I hope that that works out for you guys. I'm hoping that the new way that I'm doing this is working for you guys. Um, but yeah, five colors, really easy. You guys are going to be masters in no time, I promise you. So, of course, regular face work. We're spraying our face with our Milani Prep and Prime. And then we're going in with our Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color Spicy Brown. I apply that to my face because I feel like uh, warming it up allows it to spread better. Same thing with my concealer. Other people like to put it on brushes. Other people like to put it on their hands. However you like to do it, but we need to have the same result. So, when it comes to your concealer, you want to make sure it's a shade or two no more lighter than you and we want to focus on our t-zones i like to place it under my eyes because that's where i need the most product and then i blend it out to other areas like my nose my forehead my cupid's bow and under my chin so that's just you know other people like to place it other places but focus on this area especially if you're a beginner you want to focus mainly under your eyes on your chin um and a little bit on your forehead those are the key places also those are a lot of places that you'll sweat so you want to have that extra sort of product on there to kind of lock in any of that sweat um on, as well as we're gonna lock it in with powder as you see with our elbin 24 hour press powder which is no longer pressed because i break it up because loose powder seems to work a lot better and we're just gonna go ahead and apply that to where we put the concealer so that we're setting it in and we're locking it in so that we're straight that way you're not creasing through the day that way sweat doesn't break through through the day so a setting powder is very very important for you to go ahead and find one Damn. I read my edges. Oh my lord. Okay. So this is a Nika K uh, perfect. No, I'm lying. This is a Nika K New York palette, contour palette. Um, it is an old palette. I was using my Black Radiance Ebony Pressed Powder, but I ran out. So I have to use this. If you guys have any new contour um, options, let me know down below. So when it comes to contour, we're going to apply that into the hollows of our cheeks so that we can make our cheekbones pop. You saw what I just did? Suck my, my cheeks in like little fish and you go ahead and just follow that hollow. And for those of us who have a little bit of a bigger forehead than we want, we can go ahead and put that by our temple, as you see me doing here, and just blend that out in circular motions. Also, we're gonna hit the bottom of our chin. Um, if that's something, the that area that you'd like to work on, that's normally what I like to do. And definitely the jawline. I feel like everyone should do the jawline. It gives you just, you know, the crimson chin look, like crimson chin vibes, just like, uh, yeah, angles. And I mean, I <laughs> I personally think that's what contour is supposed to do. It's supposed to give you the angles and the, the heights and the ups and the downs. Um, that's what your face is. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of science and stuff in this too. It's not just, you know, smacking paint on. But you're seeing me go ahead and create the sort of vision and look that I'm trying to go for. It's slimming my face out. It's slimming my nose out. And um, ultimately, however you want to create your contour, it's up to you. So we're going to wipe off our setting powder. Um, I've decided I've been trying to bake slightly, just a little bit, maybe about two, three minutes, not like super long. Um, 
it's actually been working really well for me so i'm liking the way that this has been turning out and we're preparing lips we're using carmex or whatever sort of blistex or lip gloss or chapstick that you might want to use and i'm wiping that off with a makeup wipe just to get off any dead skin all the extra makeup product that has been there as i was doing my makeup and just giving me a nice clean base so i can put my lip gloss on so now before we hop into lip gloss, because I always do this, I always hop two clips ahead, <laughs> we're going to be doing our mascara, which is one of our favorites, which is the uh, Maybelline Great Lash in Blackest Lack. We're going to be doing highlight, which is this wet and wild high glow, a uh, mega high glow in the color Botanic Garden. It's a pink highlighter. I've been loving it. And it was only $4.49 from Dwayne Reed. And it's been lasting me. I had it since May of last year. Um, so definitely quality and quantity in, in this. Wet n Wild has really been stepping their game up. I also use their setting spray, which is it's life. So definitely check out the Wet n Wild products. They've definitely been doing a lot better. Um, all right, so now it's time for my fake moles. You know, the fake beauty marks that I put everywhere randomly. Um, I'm using, of course, my Ruby Kisses 24 hour liquid liner in black. And uh, what else was next? I'm actually going to add the purple under my uh, lash line so we get that full and complete round look that I've been telling you guys about lately. Um, I definitely do love this new step that I added in. I think you guys should definitely try it. Bottom lashes are from Kiss I Envy, and this is a Nika K uh, New York's uh, Diamond Lip Gloss. I don't know the color off the top of my head. I'm going to put that down below. I know I say I would do it, and most of the time I don't do it. So call me out on it if I don't do it, you guys. I'm super sorry about that. But I really love this lip gloss. It's not sticky whatsoever. It gives you the right amount of, like, glitter and shine. Um... And it's just not too much. <laughs> I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background. She's napping. Apparently, I'm interrupting her. But that's the look, you guys. So here it is. As always, I'm super glad you guys decided to watch one of my videos. For anybody who follows me on social media, thank you, guys. Keep on doing that. Make sure you guys are subbing. Make sure you're hitting the bell so you get the notifications. Make sure you guys are commenting and liking. And, um, yeah, you guys. Until next time, baby dogs. Might lose my life, but my light glow. My eyes know, but I see shit. Into existence, we speak shit. They don't have arms, just reaching. They don't call shots in the season. Hit the plug for the juice. Release the rage with a puff. So if you got problems with bug, you just ain't copping enough.